What is going on guys, it is Brick Jenner here, back with a new video, and today guys, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial on how you guys can edit your own gaming videos for completely free. So, I'm doing this on my laptop right now, but I'm doing it on iMovie, and iMovie is also available on any iOS device, and the main thing is, with the recent updates that iMovie has had on iOS devices like iPhones and iPads, it's literally the exact same on computer. The only reason I'm doing it on computer is that so it's filmed in 4K and it's not like a smaller screen. That's literally the only thing. It's the exact same thing. If you guys have any questions on how to do some stuff on your phone as opposed to on a computer, just let me know in the comments below. I will respond as fast as possible and let you guys know. So basically guys, the main three things you guys are going to be wanting to be doing when you are recording a or really editing like a gaming video, like like a gameplay video like I'm doing, is you're gonna be wanting to get your gameplay footage. And right here, I have my gameplay footage. Right here, and the first thing I'm doing right here, guys, is I'm just making it a little bit bigger. I don't know if that's the main thing you guys wanna do. You wanna cut up your gameplay footage. That's the first step you guys wanna do. And the main reason I do this is I just cut out parts that are boring or parts that are just like not enter enter entertaining to watch because no one wants to watch, like this is 9.7 minutes. So this is like about nine minutes and uh, I don't know, like 30 seconds or something like that. No, like 40 seconds, sorry guys. Something like that. So nobody wants to sit through all of that. You can maybe, I can like a gameplay like this where it's multiplayer, you could probably cut it down to eight minutes or seven minutes. But if it was like a Fortnite game or a Minecraft game, Fortnite game definitely you can cut down about 20 minutes to about maybe 10 minutes at most. But you really don't need to have it be like a ton. So the main thing I want to teach you guys is how to cut stuff up and basically what you want to cut up. So the, the way you cut up in iMovie is you literally just right click and then you just press split clip. So right now it's not showing split clip for me because um because I'm all, I have a touch bar on my Mac, so that means the split shows up on my touch bar, but normally it would be right click and then the split would be right here. So the way you want to, you guys want to do this is basically you just want to, I usually just watch the clip and the first thing I want to do is always reduce the volume whenever you have a clip, because it's always going to be super loud. Like I'm going to play this right now and it's probably going to be like super loud. Yeah, it's like, it's really loud. So you don't want to make it that loud and I actually had it 200%. But I usually sit it around 30%, something like that. Maybe even 20, depending on the game. The game like Call of Duty, where there's a ton of shooting, maybe more like 15. And you just want to cut out all the boring parts. So right here, I'm not really doing anything. So the way I, I'm not going to edit out the whole clip, but I'm just running around here. So I'd probably just go to where it starts getting boring. So I usually like to include the beginning of the game, and then I'll just do a little bit of running, and then probably split it right here, and then wait until something. I would move the playhead until I get to something interesting happening. So I see. Nothing's happening right now, but I see I grab a confirmed thing. So I can, I, I literally just backtrack a little bit, split it again here, and then just delete this whole clip. So what happens is it, it just transitions and it looks like I run straight into it. Now, the next thing you guys wanna do is you don't wanna just keep editing out just the kills because that's boring as well. You wanna be getting a little bit of footage before and after that as well. So if I go to the next kill, I have this kill right here. I don't know if I get the kill or not. Yeah, I do get the kill. So I get the kill, get the tag, you wanna get all that. And then I get this claymore, but it just immediately dies. And then that's probably enough footage. It's about five or 10, 15 seconds after. So I can just split it right there. And then I'm gonna start looking until I see something good. So just keep going, seeing what's happening. And it looks like I'm getting shot. So I can take out a little bit. I, I do wanna include all gunfights. So I just move it out until I'm running into the scene, split it again, and just delete this whole middle clip. And basically that's all you do. You just keep doing that until you have a little bit before and a little bit after what the, the interesting parts. So you don't have too short film, but you also have a little bit. Now next thing you guys want to do, the second main part guys, is adding audio, as in like music in the background. Now I suggest guys, you guys look up on YouTube, free copyright, completely copyright free um, trap beats, chill trap beats. These are always the best I put for gameplay videos. I personally don't do that. I used to do that, but I got a guy making my beats for me. Um, CMW, all of his links are in the description. But here's the beat right now I have, I have right here, and it's only 57 seconds. If I play it, it's also going to be really loud. You guys should be able to hear it. It's a really nice beat. Shout out to CMW for making this for me. But you also do want to lower the volume of this as well, because compared to when you're going to add in your commentary, it's going to be a lot higher. So I usually like to sit this around maybe like 20%, depending on how fast my commentary or how loud it is. And you always want to loop this until it until it ends. Now the way you do this is you would just copy the clip. So you can just copy it and then you could just paste it several times over. That would work on phone as well. It might be a little bit different. Just let me know in the comments below. I've, I've used iMovie phone for a ton as well. If you just want to do that, make sure there are a low volume. You want to be, the commentary is going to be the main thing. So after you've cut up the footage, let's just say I do a few more times. 
let's just say I cut it right here and then just cut out this whole part that you, you would do not want to do this. You would want to do what I did up until here the whole time. But let's just say we do that and then we're done with the whole thing. So I would take this one more time. I would take it one more time, copy it and paste it again and then cut it out so that it doesn't bleed into the end. So you can just do that by just pulling it all the way to the end. And then let's just say this is my entire clip. Now I don't add the commentary until I have the entire edited clip because when you edit, because um, if you can commentate live, that is fantastic guys. But the thing is, if, if you, it really ruins the way you can cut up stuff. You have to conform to the commentary that way. So I do do live commentary. So I keep the live for some parts of it, but for most parts, I just do not put the live one because it's so much easier and it would just be a lot more. You guys, you guys would have to watch 15 or 16, like 20 more minutes of footage if I just kept in the live commentary. So it's better to just add it in at the end. And the main thing you guys want to do with this guys is you want to talk loud when you guys do this and you want to like actually like actually seem like you're actually into the game and you can actually just mimic what you're saying in your already commentary and then just move it around so that it works perfectly. And then you can just line it up. So then when you have that commentary, you guys should all be done. And that, that would be the third part. And then also guys, I do recommend you guys get like an outro or something or just like an end screen. My guy CMW also made this for me. Have it at the end. You always want to, the main thing you guys want to do with this is you want the audio to fade in. So you guys can just do that just by simply doing this. And what this does is it makes, it doesn't make the very nice, very high volume music come out extremely loud from the beginning. It can, it gets a little bit louder as you go. And that's basically how you edit gaming videos for beginners, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And of course, like I said, if you have a question, leave it in the comments below because this isn't on my phone. And if you guys need to know I specifically do something or there's something that I mentioned that I didn't mention in the video that you guys want to know, please do let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.